Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to show you a palm I acquired the other day. This is called a Trachycarpus manipur. It's also referred to as a Trachycarpus ucrulensis or a Trachycarpus species naga hills. Closest relations to this palm are a Trachycarpus princeps, a Trachycarpus tequil, and a Trachycarpus orophilus. This palm was rediscovered along the Himalayan ranges of Burma and Manipur. It typically grows in limestone and sandstone, steep rocky hill country. It tolerates extreme cold with frost during the winter and during the summers, the rainfall is heavy in its natural habitat. Uh, it's found on altitudes of 4,000 to 6,000 feet. It grows typically to a height of 50 feet with a clean hairless trunk of 12 inches in diameter and it produces 24 to 28 three foot palmate leaves on a two foot long thorny petioles. It's the largest Trachycarpus species and each leaf having around 70 segments. The underside of the leaf is a beautiful powdery white with dark green above. The mature fruits ripen to an orange yellow and the seeds are darkened when fully ripe. Uh, it's recommended for growing zones 8b, although is reportedly hardy down to minus 15 Celsius. Just wanted to show you a little closer up this palm. So this is about a 15 year old palm right now. So it is a lot slower growing than a regular Trachycarpus fortuni, which many of you may know. And as you can see, the underside of the fronds is a very beautiful glaucous white. And this tends to be more pronounced as the palm matures. If you look down at the trunk, it's a lot more slender than a Trachycarpus fortuni. And as it matures, it will lose these hairs that's got on it right now. And then if you look just in the nooks and crannies of the petioles and the trunk, you'll see these little hairs, these little fuzzy hairs on the bottom. So those shed from the uh, petioles. As the petioles expand, they drop this fuzzy white hair and it lands down in the nooks like that. So that's a distinguishing feature. And then you also notice there are these barbs along the petioles, although they're not very pronounced like they would be in a camrops, but they are still there. Something that a Trachycarpus fortunae does not have. The petioles also tend to be a bit longer than a fortunae would be. And the frond structure, as you can see, it's got this beautiful sweepy look to it. And they tend to be a little bit stiffer. I'll post a uh, link to some pictures of mature ones so you can see what they look like when they're mature. The very beautiful palm and still relatively rare so I'm hoping uh, these palms will take, take off and be more available because they are, in my opinion, a lot more beautiful than a regular Trachycarpus fortuni palm. I'm going to be planting this palm probably in the next few days in the garden and I'll uh, do an updated video once it's in the ground. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.